You know, we've all been there when we want to save effects and recreate them in projects. We don't want to have to do them again. Say no to recreating effects. We're going to do it once and never have to do it again. It's going to save into all our projects. Let's go. And once you guys are in DaVinci, come up to the effects tab, open it up and go down to the effects tab within the effects tab and grab the handy dandy adjustment clip. That's what we're gonna be playing around with today. Go ahead and right click on it, go to open in fusion page and we're just gonna do something simple, nothing too crazy. You didn't have to cut me we're gonna grab a background note and then we're gonna grab a fast noise note I'm not sure if this is gonna work out properly or not, but we will see and then we're just gonna keyframe something stupid I'm just gonna go to the fast noise note because I haven't played around with this guy a lot We're gonna make a keyframe on scale make another one on scale and just drag it to the end and then go to frame 20 and then we're gonna just drag this bad boy back to the beginning and get rid of it so we have a gray screen and then maybe we'll go to frame number 40 and bump it up again about a 14.77 because you know that's my favorite number so that was a lie just made that up right now so don't believe that but once you guys have that we're gonna go into the spline tab because we want everything to be nice and smooth we're gonna click this little guy right here zoom to fit and click Control a to highlight all our keyframes and then we're gonna go to ease outback cubic because this is my favorite and then we got this nice little effect here okay for one two three four five ten twenty boom got your effect doesn't need to be this, doesn't need to be something simple, it can be something complicated, anything that's gonna save you guys time. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? It doesn't really matter, let me scooch in a little bit. Once you guys wanna recreate um, your effect, however, you're gonna need your power bins open, which is kinda what you can see here. I'm gonna need to step away for a second so I can see, and go into the master section. If you don't have power bins, up and selected in DaVinci Resolve. If they're not coming up in your media pool, come up here to the three dots and go to show power bins. It's simple as that. We can come in here to our adjustment clip, go to the file page, and then we can rename it to fast noise effect. Boom, we can even color it if we want. And then when you go about saving it from project to project, I like to make different folders for each different section that I'm gonna be creating, like keep the video stuff separate, sound effects separate. That's personal preference, it's up to you guys. But then I'm just gonna drag this guy in here, let's pretend that it's in a folder, and boom, we got our fast noise effect. Jump around to another project, jump into this one. And now, since we're on the same database, we can just drag our fast noise effect into the timeline and now we have it on a different project. There you have it, guys. If you guys got something out of this video, I'm sure you'll get something out of my other video on adjustment clips and all the cool things that you guys can do with those. So I'll link that one right here or here. It's just somewhere. Just You guys click on it. Find it. You can find it. Bye.